Hi there, I'm Pete Scargill. I'm going to show you how to use my uh, serial terminal. This terminal was designed, um, I mean, the purpose of putting it together was so I can mess around with the ESP8266 modules. Um, uh, as the current uh, firmware is in something of a state of flux, you really want to be able to easily send characters back and forward to the modules at whatever board rate you need to. Um, and you'll be experimenting, you'll be sending the same thing over and over again, so really you want some presets to help you do that. So there's a whole load of things in here, let me show you very briefly what it does. So basically you start off by setting um, the uh, board rate you want, in this case 9600, the COM port you want to use, in this case COM5, COM5 and leave that default, that is um, the delay in milliseconds per line going out. So imagine on the left hand column here you've got a number of lines which you want to send out to the serial. You want to put a delay in there or you may not want to put a delay in there for the um, for the ESP 826s using Lua you need a delay to give the interpreter time to operate. So I've just set that arbitrarily at 400 milliseconds. Um, I would recommend not setting it at zero because there's a timer depends on it. So if you want to get rid of it, set it to something small but not ridiculous, maybe a few milliseconds. All right, so uh, connect up to the port. You see the little lights come on there. Um, and I'm going to create a command. I've got the Lua interpreter uh, installed on a board here. I'm going to say print hello. And I'm going to send that with the button at the bottom left. And there you see on the right, there's the command going out and it's printing hello. Why is the command echoing? Well, that's that's down to the designer. Some of us would like to see those commands not echoing, but that's out of our hands right now. And the command line is there ready waiting for the next command. Uh, you can send something directly. You can say print uh, goodbye. and send that directly out and oh because i use a capital letter lure interpreters case sensitive uh, there it goes there on the on the right and doesn't mess up the screen okay so that that's easy enough um you might want some presets to save you a bit of work um there's a print hello the preset and a print goodbye how do you set those up well obviously you've got the titles of those buttons and whatever it is that you want it to send out. So you press send on the bottom right, fill them in, say OK, and you've you've got some new buttons. We'll create a new button here called, um, I don't know, print um, hi. And the command is print hi. Could be anything in there. And you can see the button has now, and that, that this is um, this is stored in um, it's non volatile. So when you close the program down, bring it back up again, you'll see that print high. Click print high, and it says high. Okay, you'll notice when I use this panel on the left, as you start um, typing something, uh, I've put a lot of presets in there, sort of auto completes for you if you want to use them. So you might want to check uh, the IP address, for example. I'll get rid of that and we'll send that and it comes back with in my case 192.168.07 so um, that's it uh, every time you send one of these commands out it kind of adds onto the window on the right if you don't want that to happen hit auto clear and when you press send it'll clear the um, the right button um, first as you're sending stuff out you'll see there's a status bar up at the top how many lines in how many lines out is shown here and in certain circumstances you will preset you will want you will want prefixes and suffixes on what you send out so if you know the lua compiler for example i'm going to show you here file load append and save file load i'm just going to have the lua startup so the lua startup uh, begins with a comment file remove the existing lua uh, init file uh, open up a new one and close it and in between there are some commands that you want to put in there. Now if you look at the difference between this side and that side, when I send that, it's actually appending file right line 
and something on the end to each of these lines because that's what it needs but I figured you wouldn't want to type that over and over again hence the prefix and the suffix if you don't want to use that turn that format off okay so that's pretty much it if you want to add something end or else on the end of the day you can see append and we'll send some a general routine out so there you go that general routine goes um, and again I can send all of that once um, so that is pretty much it okay so um, let's just clear that now let's clear it the easy way clear the input box and the reply box right if you need help there's the help if you want to have just a quick notepad to store things there's a quick notepad to store things and I can just do a simple copy uh, hide and paste from that and again that notepad is non-volatile whatever you type in there will be there the next time you come into the program so it's just kind of scratch pad if you like um, notepad I uh, can't think of anything else I think that's about it so I'll just close that down and I'll just open that up again and bring it in view for you and you will see that notepad's still there um, that print high that I set before is still there. It hasn't been erased uh, non-volatile. So there you go. Uh, send won't work until you've opened a port. And once you do send something, it'll disable itself until it's all gone out. I think that's about it.